Hi, Alan here from Fond Light Productions and we're week three of lockdown in the UK with COVID-19. Very strange times and most shoots have been pulled but this one has actually just come up. It's a TV advert for the British Red Cross. I'm working with an agency in London called VCCP. We've been talking in Google Hangouts, sharing ideas. The location for this is my own house. I've got the equipment that I need from a studio which is just across the road so not much traveling done there. And I'm gonna break this down for you to show you how we're gonna do it. So first off, we jumped into Google Hangouts with the creative team at VCCP to discuss the brief and the concept behind the project. And the brief was to film a projected loop around different locations in my house. So I took pictures of the best locations and added them to the WhatsApp group. And once I worked out what kit was needed, I gathered it all together and got it over from the studio. I did a test shoot to experiment with different filming styles, tracking on slider and handheld which gave the creatives enough information to send over a refined brief. Then it was time to shoot. So we've got the equipment that I need into our first location and we're going to be shooting on Sony FX9. This is a great camera for low light and from the test shoot we were able to decide that we wanted to shoot an S-Log3. I blast the fog machine on for some atmosphere, added a small light to light up the skateboard in the foreground and a warmer light to light up the tile so it wasn't just a big dark shape. After I captured the main shot, I uploaded the small, low-res proxy file from the FX9 straight onto WhatsApp so the creative team could view it and sign it off for me before I move on to set up the next scene. And on the third scene setup, I added a pair of socks to the radiator, a backpack and a warm light coming through the door to give the image some warmth as if the sun was coming in through the hallway. The next scene was in the living room, which is a bigger space, so we needed more lights. I placed a light panel Zastra, giving some warm light through the side window, got the projector in position, mounted the camera on the slider to get my angle, added some more lights inside in the scene and added a top light and once I was happy with it I took a picture of the scene to share with the creatives on WhatsApp to sign it off along with the tracking angle I got some handheld shots which were on the shot list just in case the client wanted to add those in then moved on to set up the projector in the dining room and got a slow tracking shot into that. And finally, set up the last shot tracking into a projection in the kitchen. All the low-res proxy files were sent off first so the editor could get cracking with the edit. And what they produced was a 30 second emotive edit with a voiceover by none other than Julie Walters. In years to come when someone asks what did you do during the coronavirus crisis, We'll say we adapted, we created, we cared, we stood together. Because although this virus may keep us apart, kindness will keep us together. And right now, every kind act matters. To give help or get help, visit redcross.org.uk.